Alrighty, and we are back with our Glow Pro Pious Conclave for episode two. I actually have a timer set this time, and we're gonna go about 30 minutes. Uh, one thing I didn't notice, as I should have done before starting everything, is everything was still too loud. So, there we go, and we're gonna go ahead and do a quick test. Um, that's a lot better. Let's bring it down a tad bit more. Up a little bit. Yeah, that looks like a good balance right there. Perfect. So, to get back to go ahead and apply and close, uh, we're going to resume our game. Where we left off, we're still exploring our galaxy, going with a more of an expansionist kind of empire, which is, that's probably not the best, but once I get back to the groove of this game, uh, we'll be able to improve all of our empires later down the road. We have, now honestly, we're, we're finally uh, uncovering some of the slums so we can get another population. We're starting to actually try to spend our resources. As in the early game, there's quite a bit of micromanaging you can do to maximize the benefits of everything in your empire. For instance, even though this one's probably more of a waste, we're going to go ahead and buy... Um, actually, I guess I really don't need to buy these extra alloys, as it's going to take forever to build the ship anyways as i forget how long it's supposed to take and i really forget how long it's supposed to take all right well we're gonna just wait about three months and as it'll take time for our construction ship to get there anyways and we need more unity to finish uncovering speaking of needing unity look at that it lights up we can now get new colonies start with one additional pop Star base influence cost. Ooh. That's actually really nice. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Perfect. And well, we're still building something in our capital, so we're not gonna worry about that. Go with two more. Totally start building that star base now. Is there really a reason to? I don't think there's a reason I should rush out the starbase here, not just as of yet. You are going to go ahead and explore over to here. Oops. I'm going to have you go here. So yellow means that you're waiting to go in an actual real direction. Perfect. Blocker cleared. Locker did. Alright, so. Ooh. Wow, we have three planets here. In the Tragula system, we have a Tomb World, which we cannot colonize. Well, we could, but it'd be really bad. An Arid World, which would be bad to colonize. And a Savannah World. Wow, three planets that I just can't use. That is really sad, not gonna lie. But. We're going to go ahead and move you over here until it's time for you to jump in another one of those ships. If I had time to do editing, this would be a good moment to just kind of skip all the micromanaging. Um, but I do not. Therefore, we're just going to be going through all of this as quickly as I can. Pretty certain I can get away with this. Can. Probably shouldn't be showing that exploit. A tropical world. Well, it's not an ocean world, but we can still colonize that pretty well. I'm gonna put you right over there. Speaking of stuff that I need to take care of, we now have enough resources to build our star base. That's gonna take. I only get a percentage. Fantastic! Pretty certain it's still gonna be a lot faster than uh. But, but the nice thing was, is it only costs 67 now instead of 75. So that is looking a lot nicer. It's time for us to max our exploration. Hmm. Which direction do I want you to go? I need you to move over here to try to find where the other empires are as quickly as possible. Move you right over 
this spot. Even more micromanaging. All this micromanagement is probably not super necessary. Anomaly found. Hey, we have our first anomaly. It's a heavy pulse. Uh, Seratin pulses steadily. It's Helioseismology indicates an internal composition for dense, uh, far denser than expected. What could be responsible for the surprising density? Ooh, so I could be spending some time to explore this system, or to explore this anomaly and find out what kind of resource awaits us here. However, we're going to leave that be for now. We'll come back to that later as I to get to expand to this system first. Ah, uh, pause. Go ahead and move over to there. Construction complete. And with that, we have now expanded to the Ramus system. The Ramus system is now fully ours, and our colony ship has not even finished yet. So what we're gonna do, we have enough minerals, we're gonna build that mining station. And then after that mining station, we're going to move you over to Sheraton by shift and then giving it to command. that I can colonize right off the gate to try to capitalize as much as possible. Spaceborn creature encountered. The encounter in Kormagos. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Kormagos system. For now, we have codenamed them the Lambda Aliens, until we find out more about them. If they possess a language, we must decipher it in order to establish communications. We have made first contact. Inside of this system, we have aliens, but they are not sentient, or so they seem. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to send one of our envoys to try to establish contact with these aliens. We're going to go ahead and send Azru Milk, uh, Az Azru Milky. Okay, uh, to figure out more about them, and once they have more information, they'll tell us about them. For now, is it possible for me to just sneak on by? Yes! That is what I'm going to do. Contact report. The enigmatic spacefarers, news of alien ships humming through the ether, have reached Brea Lora, in many ways ending the first chapter in the book of Globro Pious Conclave's bid for a stellar empire. Intriguing. Basically letting us know that A, in case you forgot, that's the first empire you have encountered. Isn't that exciting? Um, yes. Be sending you probably this way. Ooh, a trinary system with three suns in it. We have plenty of alloys to do anything that we need to do, which is going to be right after this colony ship finishes in a month. Well, the science ship. System survey complete. Perfect. And you're already. Scheduled for exploring over here to this potentially habitable system of Kuvail. Once you're done surveying this system, I want you to survey here, here, and here, so that we can get to that tropical world, which is not the greatest, but with everything I have right now, it will have to do. System survey complete. And with that, traditions, we're going to pick up the colonization fever where my colonies start off with an additional population as we're going to be trying to make our empire as big as possible as quickly as possible construction complete we 
which direction am I sending you again? Right into there. Construction complete. Perfect. Oh, we're lacking the uh, alloys. Well, if my construction ship gets the oops, colony ship, let's go ahead and have you colonize Ramus the second, and we're gonna name it. Um. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and name it Ramus Prime. Perfect. Move you out that way. We're just gonna continue to move this ship out over here. Tropical world. I may want to consider expanding this direction, but only if I can make peace with whatever these aliens are. Or it could eliminate them, but uh, my military has a power, estimated power of 54 per ship, and ships are expensive right now. Uh, they'll get, they can get a lot cheaper later. But, uh, yeah, for now they're expensive. Oh, uh, you were bored. There. We are one step closer. Being exactly where I need to be. Alright, I got a new science ship. It's time for us to recruit a new scientist. Um, this one, we're going to go ahead and give it where they can research anomalies even faster. Yes. And I'm going to have them start exploring. Ooh, a tropical world. You know what? Let's start having them exploring that way. Survey, 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 and survey. It's fantastic. Uh-oh. Oh, more Lambda aliens. Oh, maybe it's the same ones, because they're traveling right now. Well, let's not run into them. Let's stay away from the no-no zone. And... Oh, the construction ship is bored. Let's go ahead and buy those alloys so I can get that star base built as quickly as possible. After that is built, we're going to move them back over to that system, and we're just going to keep micromanaging our empire. Anomaly found as much as possible. We have encountered some strange readings. This planet emits, we're gonna go ahead and zoom right on in. Look at that, this is the one that's in that really big system. So this one's not the habitable world, it's a barren world, but it has a level seven project. This planet emits strange magnetic waves, quite unlike anything we have seen so far. Almost as if it's trying to communicate with us. It's only logical to investigate this usual phenomenon we may have just encountered an, extra, an extraordinary example of life on a planetary scale. Now this would be pretty cool to research, but it is very hard. On top of that, research time is going to take forever, so we're going to definitely leave that be for now. There's no way of researching that anytime soon. Um, looking at a lot of other things, I think it is time to build up on our capital world. As we now have three unemployed pops, two glow pearls, and one seaweed. It's been giving us some pretty good unity. Um, but I may want to consider improving my resources. What would I want to improve? We're going to build a monument to improve our unity production. We could also go with more priests for even more unity production. Or research labs to improve science. That's always a good option. You want to go science. Because there's a chance I got a lot of the... Jot, a lot of the perks that I already would have needed. Or I could just con absolutely continue to go with even more temples, go with as many priests as possible. Which is a case as unity from priests is, inc is, is increased by one. Or, uh... 
that's actually pretty good. It's a lot of uh, potential unity I have. I mean, that's gonna be 15. Science is always good, though. It's really hard to argue otherwise, but you know what? We're gonna make the mistake and just go with the or unity. Oh, you are bored here. I need you to continue to move right over there. Perfect. Our colony ship is approaching the first world of Aramis Prime. Anomaly found. Jumping, which you have. Is they gonna have you jump to this ship? Well, I guess I need to focus on this first. <laughs> a terraforming candidate was discovered. Our detailed survey of Unith 3 has revealed that although it is currently unsuitable for life due to its noxious gases presence in its atmosphere, it is capable of sustaining a breathable atmosphere. Through a, con uh, a concerted effort, we may be able to break the planet's toxins down into less lethal compounds. Terraforming this planet would theoretically be possible. We do not yet possess the means to accomplish this monumental task without a realistic time frame. In other words, this planet is a terraforming candidate. That's excellent news for us. I want to go ahead and make that jump there. Jumping, and then we're gonna jump you over to here so you can jump again. <laughs> this is not an exploit. <laughs> in the, we are spreading our faith to in a the new world. the like, mechanics of the game, and it is finally time. We are colonizing our first planet. It is not complete though. The first Glow Pro colony. Our colony ship has made a gentle splashdown in the planet-spanning ocean of Ramus Prime. Just off of the shores of a large archipelago, this fertile island chain will serve as an excellent first landing site. The ship has been permanently anchored in preparations for its conversion uh, into the administration headquarters of the new settlement. Its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up in the islands surrounding the former starship's massive hull, as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first Glow Pearl City is on an alien world. Great day, the Glow Pearl Pious Conclave. However, we're still not able to do anything, because the planet still needs to be colonized. And that is going to take a little over two years. In the meantime, whoops. Council agenda ready. Uh oh. We've made first contact with aliens. 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 Ah, I don't see them. Maybe they just left the system. We have made first contact with various aliens. For now, we have codenamed them the Zayan aliens. We'll send our second envoy to start uncovering that contact. Ooh, an anomaly. Which one? Ooh, a weaker one. Well, I can't have you research that yet. And now, we still got some more time. The council agenda is now ready. So the Glowpro Pious Conclave has been hard at work in the uh, they've been trying to improve citizen pop happiness, so we're going to go ahead and launch it. Congratulations, we are now getting a lot of happiness for all of our people, giving us a bigger boost in our production of everything. Now we must choose a new agenda. We can go for a higher purpose, which is going to make everybody happier and make them more spiritualists. The evolving society to increase our unity by a lot. Expand the council which gives us new counselor slots. Preserve the order to maintain order in my empire. For superior colonies to improve the colony development speed. Now expand the council, I want to do that at least twice. So, we're gonna go ahead and hurry up and pick that up because it will take time for that to reset. 
Construction complete. Woo! We have expanded our empire. Mm -hmm. It's strange that having a maximum number of empires, I've still not found anybody. We're going to continue to. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, shoot. We continue to expand outwards. Wander over yonder. Let us continue to expand into the spans of space and everything that it has to offer. We're nearly done surveying Coveil. Ah, it's going to still take us some time. We'll need to consider getting more food, getting those consumer goods and alloys for another colony ship. A question I currently pause the game for is, do I want to create another science ship for micromanaging and exploring the stars? It will save me a lot of time. I am actually Captain of the Air, so it's not. Construction ship is stuck there for the time being. Strategic resource has been discovered. During its survey of Unit 2, the Pearl Pillars discovered several exotic gases previously unknown to us. These gases have a variety of different uses, particularly in the operation of advanced energy based weaponry and force fields. Some of the gases can also be used as starship fuel even as recreational drugs. <laughs> While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the systems for future exploitation. <laughs> that thing for us to consider. Okay, I want you, border goer, to put this away. First contact event pending, big and testy. That was these aliens all the way over here. Upon entering uh, Cormagus, our sensors picked up strange readings. Dismissed at first as glorified asteroids, things quickly changed when it was discovered that those entities reacted aggressively to movements in space, even at great distance. Observation of these entities, preferably from a safe distance, is advised. Best viewed from afar. Let's keep it up. So was it luck perchance that they didn't attack me? Or is it something else? We may never know how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Ooh, a pre-sapient species found. Do tell me more. Across the plains of Jumia the Third, long, graceful creatures have been observed engaging in rudimentary forms of communication, cooperating with one another to find food and avoid the planet's predators. Scientific, uh, scientist uh, Bodehano of the Pearl Peripus, Periplus believes these toxic beings may prove suitable for technologies intended to heighten the pace of evolution. What? We have aliens. They are great on savanna preferences. I may want to consider including these into my empire so I can actually go on to all those savanna and other worlds that I was saying is not great for my empire in the first place. Plus, natural intellectuals, a lot of more unity, a lot more intelligence, bad on minerals, but that's okay. I don't need that. I've got other things for that. Something to keep in mind for the future. Oh, that is fantastic news. I really want to consider uh, maybe trying to integrate them in my, into my empire. Speaking of things uh, that I'm not paying attention to, I've got a lot of energy credits just lying around. Let's go ahead and put those energy credits to use. We'll go ahead and buy ourselves a lot of consumer goods. We're going to buy ourselves some food and even more alloys and build ourselves that colony ship. We're going to go ahead and 
continue to expand. This is definitely not an exploit. Perfect. Whoops. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens. Even more aliens. Yet there's still no one to be found. Or terrifying, perhaps. We may never know how many legs. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. I can do it three times. Um. So what are we going to do? My alloy production's not doing so hot. So we may want to consider improving that. That can be improved by building up an industrial district on my planet. That'll also help improve my consumer goods, but it will eat up a lot of minerals. Yeah, most of my minerals. My mineral income's still actually doing pretty poor. You have more minerals over here. You're available. Also, how close are we getting to... Ooh, one more month. Uh, never mind. And our first leader has leveled up. The head of research, Jershama, has leveled up. This is the one that we actually quickly picked up to pick grab the Eye of Talent. Fascinating. And I've got three options on how to level up this leader to make them even more specialized. We can improve their Eye for Talent to make all of my leaders level up even faster. I can also make them a politician, which will improve the counselor experience gain and faction approval, or make them an archaeologist. I would love to level up Eye for Talent. I think picking a politician for the head of research to improve all of my counselors' experience, because that's half of my leaders right there. Uh, and to unlock in this trait for them, we're going to go ahead and do that as they're going to be more of a political scientist. Where are you going to go? I want you to go this way. You have to go this way. You... So many different choices. Let me go straight this way. Because I have a feeling there's another empire in this location. Traditions! We're gonna increase pop growth speed, star pace upkeep, empire size. Um don't know if I need to finish picking up expansion for this empire. Maybe time to jump to a new one, but I will at least pick up the pop growth speed again, try to improve the size of my empire as quickly as possible. Only the system will create the finish. System survey complete. <laughs> oh man, so let it be written, so let it be done. We're gonna go ahead and buy a lot more alloys. Get that starbase built as soon as possible. Now, this scientist direction. Definitely going to survey this general direction. With that, though, I think that is actually an excellent stopping place for this episode. We've been expanding, we've landed our first colony, and we are trying to find out more life in the galaxy. We're still in the early game, as we're only three years in, but the game can get a lot more exciting the moment we start finding those other empires in a race to expand our borders. Tune in next time as we try to find out what these two aliens are, as if we didn't see anything, who are we contacting? See y'all then!